Man and wife, we have three rules. Respect yourself and each other. Practice safe sex. And make sure your ass is over 18. We're back again, okay? It's man and wife. Scoop it. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. <clears throat> Something in my throat. Could be your hair. I doubt it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is from a real good friend of mine from manandwife.tv. Baby, what, what's wrong with you? I Are you love, mad at me today? Because I, I, feel, I, feel, the, I feel the vibe that you, you're not happy with me. I mean, I feel that you're really unhappy with me. What do you mean you feel I'm not unhappy? I'm unhappy with you. That but that you you show out every episode. You're all over the place. You you talk about how good you are with oral sex and episodes. You you bang banging Latin love. You was showing out. Okay, okay, look. What did I what did I say about all that? You said that you were going to show out, and I didn't want that. I so said I, I was going to show out, right? Yeah, but I don't. So. No, no. What if I show out? What if I show out? Come on. What if I show out? Matter of fact, here, get yours. I'll whoop your ass. Because he talks too freaking much and I'm sick of it! I'll kill you! <laughs> I'm a man! You <laughs> He hurt me. I didn't hurt you, baby. I did. You. And everybody, she's got yellow, <laughs> yellow nails this week. Okay, okay. Now, let, let, me, let me read this one. Okay. This is from BX Jamerican. Do you hate when you hook up with someone and when they take off their clothes, they look like a hot damn ghetto mess? I hate when females wear fake hair, contacts, push-up bras, and when they take off their clothes, they look nothing like what they really uh, advertise that they are. <laughs> What's your worst experience with this topic? Oh, my goodness. Now, okay, <laughs> first of all, anytime you meet a woman on the web, that's man and wife included, Right. You see a picture, you take off 62.7% of that picture. Because see, that, that picture's in the best lighting, it's <laughs> the best clothing, it's from the best angle, it's all of the best circumstances wrapped up in the one, okay? Usually, if the person looks good, they look like shit when you meet them. I don't think that's yes, true. Yes, yes. Look, I had a time where I met a girl on Black Planet, okay? She looked incredible. When I got there, she had one fucking leg. Well, I hate a guy that presents okay, one leg. I hate a guy that has the all other this one was talk and he presents himself in some certain kind of way and then when it gets down to it, he ain't number that big. Well, that has nothing to do with me. I'm just talking about somebody with one <laughs> leg. Okay, so I got there. <laughs> Let me, do, matter of fact, I'll tell you the story, okay? Because I dealt with two handicapped women, okay? One time, I had met a handicapped woman online on Black Planet, okay? So we talking back and forth and, you know, she was talking all this type of stuff about, where you going, babe? Okay, she was talking all this type that of stuff. Oh, I'm going to make it happen with you. I'm going to get it popping. Yeah, I'll make it happen. I got good sex and all that. That's the, the, um, the, the girl that's handicapped? Yeah. So, I went to her house in the Bronx, and I got there at about 6 o'clock in the morning. I was ready to tear her ass apart, okay? When I got there, she opened the door, and she was in a damn wheelchair. Are you serious? But that doesn't take away from who she is. I tore her ass apart, man. Hey, man, I showed her ass no mercy, all right? I took her out of that goddamn wheelchair, and I had her all over. I had her paralyzed ass all over the place. Okay, listen. You're damn right. I worked her out, man. I did. You did okay, United, you, want me, you want me to go there with my exes? Oh, no. <clears throat> you want me to talk nope. about that? 877 man wipe. That's 877 man wipe. Baby, you answer this because you don't need to talk about your exes. Okay, I'm going to segue into um, yes. what you just talked about. Seg. And this is a very good friend of mine on the site, um, Tucker Xavier. Right. Now, if you've had a, the opportunity or the pleasure to go to his page, you will know that he is in a wheelchair also. Right. And he wrote me. Can we have some type of handicap dating network? 
Well, why Maybe not? Where we, where we can put handicapped people together. I no, could. no, no, because handicapped people can be with with people that don't have handicaps. It's wrong to to put them in a box. So listen, this is. I want to read you his email. So anyway, he writes me, says he's been seeing this woman for two years now. She lives like an hour from him. Right. And she drives down to come and see him. Right. Now he's and, her, what, is he fully handicapped? Is he half handicapped? Is he well, somewhat he, handicapped? What's his actual handicap? I, I'm not sure exactly. I don't think he's not quadriplegic. He's right. just his legs don't work. Legoplegic. Right. right. So anyway, um, she yeah. comes and visits him. When she comes, they have great sex. Like, they're having the most magnificent sex. They have great conversation. They're basically very well... Um, Get, getting along. They get along very well. I just want to say so one wait thing. Minute, wait, no, no, I'm not done, sweetheart. So anyway, in conversation, she always says, oh, I wish you, were, you weren't handicapped. Right. Can't fix So that. he's saying, to me, I feel as though she is not accepting me for what I really am. And I mean that would I be like turning around... I'm sorry. Would be like turning around after a serious love making session with Scoop and telling him, "I wish you had a six pack." Well, see, here's it's the thing. A, like she's comparing. So listen, I feel a little bit conflicted because the the JJ is off the hook. Right, but she's off the hook. In all the things we do, right. do you think I'm compromising my dignity? For some of this out of this world PUS. No, no, no. Tear that pussy up, okay? Because she don't got no problem when it's a handicapped dick in her, okay? But she got a problem at the end. Now she want to get all uh, uh, funny and she, uh, now well, you know, now you got people to put the handicapped man. I'm going to tell Tuck, th this is what I think, sweetie. And I'm being honest with you. I think she enjoys your conversation. I think she enjoys you as a person. But she She don't want to be seen in the street with no handicapped man. See, that's wrong. If you got a good enough dick to be handicapped with that honey, girl. Don't interfere with my what I'm saying. Excuse me. Sorry. So what I'm saying to you, Tuck, is that Am I do I feel that you're you're you would be losing your dignity in a sense by staying with this woman? Yeah, I do feel you would be. Because there are many women out there, good women, that will take you as you mm -hmm. are. As you are, say you try you try to make it work with her. Eventually, she would be mistreating you yeah. because you're not what she wanted. She'll feel like, oh, I settled. No, 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 no. Oh, you want to fuck with the handicap in the night, but you don't want to be out in the handicap and be with the handicap in the daytime. See, no. that's that bullshit. No. But we can create a handicap dating network where you can be with somebody who's going to accept you for who you are. And let me tell you something: if and, you handicap like that, and it's not like for that, handicaps with handicaps. I right. There are there are many women, men, and women who have spouses or in relationships with people. God forbid something happened to me or you and right. I'm in a wheelchair after today. Right. No, don't, don't, don't say it, please. But uh, I'm just saying, right. would you still want me? Of course I want you because I love you for who you are. Now listen. Exactly. Look, listen. All I'm saying, you must be slinging some good damn handicapped dick around. So you know something? She's I can find you someone that will want that handicapped dick. You just call me and I want you to call me direct. No. My, my, my extension is number one. 877-MAN-WIFE. That's 877-MAN-WIFE. And it's not, not about it's me. not about the p the p the, the the sex. The operative word is someone accepting who you are. He is tearing that pussy apart. He's not having problems getting that. You throwing dick better than than, than people who walking around on two legs. Yeah. It's a damn shame. Please believe that. What does that mean? I want to read this one. This is from my friend, who is getting married very very soon. And she says, I just okay, want to hold your hand, baby. So I'm 21 and my fiance is 25. We're getting married in a couple of months and we're, we're both inexperienced virgins. What? I'm excited about marriage but extremely nervous about sex. What can I do to be sure that our first night together is amazing and passionate and not clumsy and awkward? Now, because you wrote to me, I'm going to answer first. I just want to say one thing. First of all, sweetheart... I congratulate you and your fiance to both that you both waited to have sex. I mean, in this day and age, that's a miracle. Because you know you're going to be clean. Now, you're going to be clumsy on listen, the pussy listen, now. You listen. Go ahead, baby. Okay. The reality is, sweetie, because you're both inexperienced, you both are going to be a little clumsy and be a little awkward. Yeah. But that's the beauty of making love. You could just be just be yourselves and have a good time. My My dream thing for you would be to kiss a lot, to hug a lot, and to both take your time and do little things to your partner and ask him, how does this feel? One, and two, it, does three, he three, like that? And, and he'll do the same to you. And you just explore each other's body and take your time. You have your whole life ahead of you. And congratulations. I wish you both a lot of love. 
and a lot of security and a lot of happiness. I'm just happy that both of y'all are clean. Nobody had to get an AIDS test. Nobody had to do a damn thing. Okay, that's a beautiful thing to know that you step into the bed with somebody and you don't have to think twice and you don't have to wear a condom. This is beautiful stuff, man. Hey, man, congratulations to both of you and may you have the most clumsy pussy experience that you ever uh, may have imagined in your life. Okay. Let, let's go to this. This is from Big Bamboo. Uh, just because you have a tongue ring, that doesn't mean that you know how to suck a good dick. I've met girls that swear they give superb head like super head just because they got a tongue ring and it was horrible. Scoop, have you ever experienced that? Yes, I have. Okay? Let me tell you something, okay? Just because you have a tongue ring does not mean that you give incredible head, okay? Sucking somebody's dick with a tongue ring and you don't know what you're doing is like giving them a head uh, blowjob with, with a fucking crowbar, okay? Or uh, sucking somebody's dick with a metal pipe. It's not good. Can I add to that? It's not As good. a woman, I, I have to say... You got a tongue ring. What, what, what the fuck that mean? If your head is on point, Ooh. why do you even need embellishments to make it better? Nothing. The tip of your tongue and your whole vibe and your whole action is enough. You don't need fil uh, frills. And I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but you take it from an expert, okay? You take it from an expert. Somebody who knows, man. Like she's the, the BF Goodrich or the, the uh, Goodyear Tires, you even see the what Michelin I do with man. My tongue? Hey, 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 okay. I, I know you're trying to get me back, but that's okay. 877? <laughs> Man, I would be a good girl. I'm always a good girl. I try to be. All that's right. right. So do you want, to do my, like want getting, me to do one? Maybe it's almost like when they hit me. No, the the, no, 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 no. We're like not going to talk like that. Okay. Okay? All right, you. This is from Will B. Champion. Uh, he's making, he's acting like he's the Haji of India and he's making me an offer. Hey, Law Scoop and Chanda. I love your show. Scoop, I'd like to make you an offer for the services of your beautiful wife, Shonda. I will give you 1,000 goats, 16 7-Elevens, three copies of Tyler Perry, Medea Players, the whole first season of Meet the Browns, and one Negro child. Just email me at hashi at yahoomail.com. Look, Will. I love you. I don't want no damn Negro child in exchange for Shonda, okay? That's just another <laughs> dependent, okay? That's somebody I got to buy pampers for and all that, and I can write them off half well, of my taxes. And well, make want, me, make me an offer I can't refuse. No, no, no. She, you want to give me... Make me an offer I you can't gonna refuse. You want to give me uh, the, the first season of Meet the Browns and one, one Negro child. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing with them? I can't do nothing with them. I love Will B. 877. Man wife. That's 877. Man wife. And listen, we got to shout out all of our new members this week. Yeah. So shout to all of them. We got we got hundreds of new members, but every week we just big up some of the new members. Like, for example, Amber. Amber. Young World from Pittsburgh. Lola. Lola from Houston, Texas. That's shout right. to Houston, Texas. Shout to 97.9 The Box down there. I eat a Papa Do's all the time when I come to Houston. <laughs> shout to um, Callie Disjock from Vegas. You love Vegas. Yes, I love Vegas. And Miss Lee. And Miss Lee from um, Frankfort, Kentucky. Oh, okay. And also all check over. out. All over. Yeah, all over, man. We got it from all over. Check out the new blog. It's a blog that I be checking out. I read up on. I'm going to be putting y'all up on like little stuff I do on the computer because this is a website and you are on the computer right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's good, babe. Because, you know, I'm not so... That's all right, baby. Anything that you can't do, I can do better. And then some stuff you can do, I can't, I can't do. And better. But something like that. Okay. I love you.